Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. And in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you a little bit of what I've been doing to my base. I've uh, recently added on, tamed a few more dinos. And I just really wanted to, you know, do a little walkthrough and, you know, show you guys around. So, I know it's been a minute since I last showed you my base. I think the last video I did, I actually did a glitch on the Quetzal. And, uh... It actually did pretty well for a video that was only like 36 seconds. This one actually needs fit. Wait, that's not mine. Okay, but it doesn't need fit. I'll feed it later. Well, first of all, let's just go ahead and look at my Argentavis here. Level 52 with an Ascendant Argentavis saddle. Armor is 197. So as we go, we got one plant. I need to plant more, actually. That is my uh, Tapajara thing, Tapajara. And then you walk in here, I got my little Dodicurus. Go dick ears. <laughs> and he's a little guy. He hangs around a lot. You know, he just wobble wobbles. But as you see here, we first walk into the first part of the building. This is the very first room. This is where I do mainly of all my crafting. And it's really just like, I use it a lot, honestly. Like, I use, of course, I use it a lot. I've got a lot of good stuff in here. And I've just really been, I've really been prepping up for some boss fights, honestly. And I'm definitely going to record those. Um, so you walk in here, we have my vaults here for PvE, so none of you guys can like come and get me because, you know, I'm on a private server with a passcode protected, and so yeah, it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to show you guys anyways. So now we are, that was this vault room, we take the stairs up, we come out here, this is our little balcony area that surrounds, you know, the house. We got my war drums here. I also don't know why I did that, but anyways, yeah, war drums, got an outside grill, I usually put my birds right here, that way I can just come out top, boop, ready to go, and this is the second floor, I did have a lot of storage boxes here, but I took them up because I built the vaults, and yeah, so then, uh, let's say I get my industrial grinder for the XP, come up here to the third floor, which is, I, I call this the attic, I honestly don't need these anymore, but I do store some like armor sets in here, and, like some different stuff. And yeah, it's also where I respawn at. So pretty good stuff. Got a little window here I can look out of. Look at my dinos and look at the red obelisk and just look around, you know, in the wilderness. Um, let's go ahead and look at the dinos that I have so far. All right, this is Blue Big Boy. Um, he's a Triceratop, level 133, about to be 134. And I have, of course. A Quetzal, level 23. Health up. Good boy. Quetz. Um, spiky. I um, don't know why that's like that. Actually, I do. It's just... Don't even... I don't even know. So, this is Spiky Man. A uh, Spiky guy. And he, uh... He does pretty well. He has level 176. Still has quite a bit of XP to go. Uh, just a little bit. Not very much, but just a little bit. Um... Still need to get him leveled up for boss fights. I don't even know if you can take this man into a boss fight. I never have. I've always taken Rexes, and that's why I know that they work. So this guy right here is a Rex, of course, obviously. Hey, man. Um, this is His name's Hulk. He's a, he, he's almost level 300. He's a boss man. He's amazing. Level 267. Uh, has 21k health, to believe it or not. 2300 stamina. 705 oxygen, blah, 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 food. Who cares? Weight, that's who cares. Melee damage, 302.7. I would like to increase that as we go. Okay, here's my other Rex. It, ta it capped out at 139 for some odd reason. Um, a lot more XP there for some reason. I'm not really sure. But you then you have health and then you have stamina, of course. Not that strong as Hulk, but Hulk will put in that work in that boss fight. He also has a, um, <clears throat> a level, or not a level. Uh, armor 206 saddle, so he's definitely gonna put in that work. So uh, I need to get a new saddle for this guy for level 193 Rex. He's almost level 200. I'm gonna keep leveling him up, and he only has a armor 25 Rex saddle, so I'm gonna definitely craft him a new one as soon as I can. Um, he's definitely. I think he's gonna do a little bit of work. Him and Hulk are gonna do some good work. Okay, Optimus Prime. He's the tech Rex that I have recently got, just not too long ago, a couple days ago. Oh man, I need to feed him. Um, I definitely need to get him boss ready. I, I want to get at least all my Rexes to at least 20k health, or at least 17, you know, around there. I would that would be really nice. Stamina, I'd like to have that a little bit up. Mainly melee damage, but stamina I feel like is really important in health because you want to keep them going as long as possible. 
you know. But you also want to have that melee damage up to make sure you do that. Giga, I don't think you, I'm pretty sure you can't take these in the boss fights. But um, I am just gonna have him around base just in case. You know, you never know. Anything can happen. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You know, for just my house in general, not the whole entire base. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already done a whole base tour, but this was just my house, and yeah. Some some, some things are just a little, little retarded, you know, kind of like that wall over there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more ARK content, please leave a like. And comment down below what you guys think of ARK Survival Evolved. Are you still playing it? Um, and if you are, what are you doing? Like, are you doing anything different? Are you still doing, like, walkthroughs and stuff like that? Cause, I like to add my own twist to it. That's why I have my own server and make the game way more enjoyable. Definitely, probably gonna get some mods eventually, but I think after this map we beat, after we beat this map, we're gonna go ahead and move on to Valgaro. And yeah, but also, guys, I want your thoughts and opinions, so please comment down below what you guys think of this. And yeah, so here we go. I'm about to say it. What do you guys think of me creating a how-to series. I know I already have a how-to series on ARK, but what I'm meaning is, should I continue that series and start creating creating more videos on like Valgaro, start studying that map on the side while playing this map, and you know, just to try and you know increase my channel um, recognition, and, and what that means is just like kind of get explored a little more, discovery, and just kind of like what I did two years ago. So yeah. Come please, please, please comment down below and let me know. And make sure you guys leave a like if you guys want to see more art content. Alright guys, I love you all. Thank you for being here. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.